Hello guys, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be recreating this Johnny Harris collage style animation. So let's get into it. Let's say I put $10,000 into my bank. What's insane is that the bank only has to keep 10% of that money in the actual bank. So to create something like this, the first thing you need to do is look for all of the assets that you'll be using for the tutorial first. So in my case, I went and I searched, I searched extensively to find some of the some of the items so i got the safe there's a safe he used both the inside and the and the door then the bank i don't know if this is a bank then a flag and this wooden wooden plank here then after that i imported all of the asset into an adobe photoshop to remove the background and also you can see here i removed the background then cut out some of the sides then attach this flag to it so i'll just save this as a psd files PSD file which I'll be using in the tutorial. Then for the save, this is where I did most of the hard work. I had to cut down each of the each of the parts to different. So as you can see here, this is the inside of the save. Then I added my fake gold bars inside. It's the lighting is not really correct, so I just added some of these things just for the tutorial. And this. Then this is the door here. And if you notice, I also let me just open that. I also edited out the doorknob or this door wheel here so that it's separate from the background. After removing the doorknob, after separating the doorknob, I used the clone stamp tool to clean out this place here like this. Then, so this is the doorknob which we will be animating separately. And then this side of the door which completes it. So, this is what we have here. Then, I saved this as a PSD file so that we can have all these layers separated in After Effects. So, all of the assets and the project file will be be in the description below so you can download it for free and see what i did and also follow the tutorial so thank you so inside of after effect the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to create a new composition 1920 by 1080 24 frames and give it out 25 seconds then click ok <clears throat> then next i'm going to create a new solid go to layer new then solid and i'm going to be using this blue cyan here then click ok then next i'm just going to drag in my this Johnny Harris video to use as a reference reference image for my size Then make sure all of the layers are right down to the end of it then i've already imported some of the files i'm going to be using so i'm just going to bring down this bank here and put it on top and it's kind of large so i'm just going to scale it down to fit, to fit this and that's okay make it 3d then i'm just going to remove the view of this other layer then go down to new again and let's create a new null layer. Make that null layer 3D. Then parent the bank to your null layer. Once you've done that, bring up the rotation of the null layer and the position. Then for the Y rotation here, let's make the Y rotation around 50. Or let's say minus 50. Minus 50. Then make the position around 1. 1728 or 121278 then change the z position to 171 and this looks okay next i'm going to create a new shape this will be like a floor or a shadow for our bank here so we're just going to go down to shape to click the rectangle tool then this is going to be a bit uh, not totally black so i'm just going to freestyle this create something like this then I'm going to make this 3D. Then go down to the rotation, bring up the rotation, and make the edge rotation 90 degrees. Then bring up the position also. Then I'm going to drag this down like this. Then using other parameters, I'm going to rotate this to fit our background here. So once it's aligned perfectly as you want it, just close that and bring this below and also parent this to your null layer so before we continue if you enjoy tutorials like this please consider subscribing and liking the video to get more tutorials like this thank you so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to import or bring in my this safe here as you can see i imported it as a composition so that i can have all the layers inside the composition then i'm just going to make this composition this comp com composition here i'm just going to make it 1920 by 1082 then back in our main comp i'm going to 
scale this down so let me just turn on John Harris video to have a reference size so I just drag it to where it's sticking on so just going to position this then scale it to fit his size <coughs> and this should be okay I just turn this off back then make yourself 3D go inside the contour and make everything 3D then parent your null parent the save to your null to the null one then at two seconds i'm going to set a keyframe for my position and my y rotation yeah then select those keyframes i've created and move them forward a bit then i'm just going to restore this back i'm just going to make this zero make the z position zero two then make this 960 if you notice that some of your layers are still sticking out then you can edit that separately so the next part of our animation will be to add the animation of the dollar entry in the bank so with this i'm just going to bring in my this dollar bundle here that i've downloaded this stack of dollar and i'll resize it bring up the scale then make this around 10 to be really small like this this is okay then next i'm going to duplicate this into maybe six places or that maybe let's say five should do then next i'm going to stack them on top of each other so i'm going to click from the fourth one to the first one and press p then next i'm going to bring this down like this then do that for the rest of the so for your own animation you might want to add more but for this tutorial i'll just leave it at five like this this is okay so the next thing i'm going to select all of them then move them to just above my frame here then come forward a bit just i'm just going to arrange the animation later to match the audio of johnny harris but for now i'm just doing this i'm just going to come forward here and bring up the p bring up the position parameter here then set a keyframe here <clears throat> then go forward a bit like this like close to one second not up to one second then bring this down don't worry we're going to move it back behind the bank we're going to be down like this and now we have this animation the next thing i'm going to do i'm just going to scale this in then i'm just going to offset them maybe about two frames forward for each one there should be a plugin or a script to do this but i'm just going to do this manually so do what i did here so next i'm going to select all of the keyframes and make them easy ease by pressing f9 then go down to my graph editor here and select it like this make sure everything is selected then move this to the side then move this back a bit something like this you can tweak it more if you want and this should be okay so let me play this back for you to see and before i play this back i'm just going to move all this dollar stack behind the bank like this so next at around one maybe one second and 20 frames forward i'll i'll just split this I'll select all the dollar layers up, then press hold ctrl shift D to split them up. Then next hold ctrl alt and press the up button to move it up. <coughs> but make sure it is not above the bank, the bank layer. This is our bank layer, make sure it's not above that. Then for this layer, might not need this layer again, so I'm just going to shy this layer up. So for this layer here, I'm just going to bring it down a little bit lower. So I'm just going to bring up the position, then bring it down just at the foot of the bank, like that. And make sure you clear these keyframes here. You don't need that for now. <clears throat> so when you go forward, you see that we have our dollar here and it doesn't have to rotate with the layer because we don't need that. So next, we'll create a new keyframe. So right here at 219, just when the, the turns over, <clears throat> I'm just going to set a new keyframe for this we just do something exactly like what we did before then go forward a bit then move this stack of cash to the side there 
So once you have your cache where you want them to be, we're also going to offset these keyframes like we did the first time. So just do that. Then select all of them and make them easy ease. So I'll just play this back for you to see what you have so far. So next around 4 seconds and 10 frames forward, I'm just going to go down to the box, the safe box section. Then first I'm going to go down to the knob section. Make sure you parent the make sure you make the anchor points of the knob. I'm going to make the anchor point of the knob stay in the middle here. So I'm just going to go to the knob. Then set a keyframe for the Z position. Then go forward a bit. Then rotate to this, like this. I am also going to print this knob to the door. Then go down to the door. Bring up the rotation. Then set a keyframe here for the Y rotation. Then go forward a bit. Then go minus minus 90 that's okay and select all the keyframes and make it easy is and now we have so i'll just go back to the main comp and play this back for you to see so the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to close all this at five seconds and 20 frames forward i'm just going to set a keyframe for this first dollar here look up the position and set a hold keyframe and just go forward a bit like this and then move one of them to inside i just use this anchor point here move it inside like this but before i do that i'm just also going to bring up the scale value for here go back to the main keyframe select it select double this keyframe here and go back then scale it down just scale it down so it's below our or above our dollar dollar bars here this like this then make the keyframes easy is so at eight seconds and zero eight frames forward i'm just going to go back to the to the main to the safe comp and set the keyframe for the door let me just remove this here we don't need that then go a few frames forward then make this zero but when you go back you see that our dollar is still outside here but what you're going to do is i'm just going to move this outside then there are several ways to do this actually but the easiest method is to keyframe this out with max so i'm just going to select our dollar sign here then go to the keyframe then go to this rectangle to here just to, to make a max then max it out like this then for the max, I'm going to go down to the max part, set the keyframe. Then go forward a bit. I'll use control then the side key. Then I'm going to go down to my selection to select just these two sides here. Then go forward a bit. Then do this for the rest of the parts. So once you've done that, you can add other animations like the bot closing with the knob, then the trees and other animations that you might want to add. So thank you for watching and please subscribe for more animations like this. Thank you. Let's say I put $10,000 into my bank. What's insane is that the bank only has to keep 10% of that money in the actual bank. 10%.